Welcome back to another video and I am treating you guys three months without an upload and there's two very quick succession ones so I'm obviously getting into the swing of things. Um, so yeah, in today's video we are going to be doing a Brighton versus Man United preview. The game is happening this Saturday at 5.30, I will be there, I'm going to vlog it you know. I'm <laughs> record it for when we win 7-0, I'm going to see Ronaldo cry. Um, <laughs> Obviously, that's a joke. We'll be doing a Brighton versus Man United preview. And yeah, let's not chat too long and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so we're going to go straight into a predicted lineup. We've got a whiteboard here. Instead of doing this fancy chosen 11 thing, we're going to start off with whiteboard. In goal, Bobby Sanchez. I also think I've got the Z the wrong way around. So at left centre back, we're going to go for Mark Cucurella. He's not going to obviously play there, but it will just start there. So, um, and then we'll change, we'll switch the formation up. As the middle centre back, we're going to go for Captain Lewis Dunk. At right back, at right back, at right centre back, we're going to go for Joel Veltman. Um, next to Cucurella, at, no, sorry, next to Veltman at right wing back. What we'll do is Lamptey will play at right wing back. I think the middle it will be Basuma, Caicedo as well and at left wing back it'll probably be Trossard that's who it'll be and that's what we've got so far um but as a strikers we'll go for Enoch and Wepu he that obviously he doesn't start there but you know and Danny Welbeck so just editing this back I forgot to add the cam Alexis McAllister so we've got we've got our past results up here um not against Man United just in general so last time we obviously won three 0 against Wolves. class performance and um, make sure to check my video out on that with my last video uh, on the channel so make sure to check that out drew 2-2 two -two to Southampton and then we lost three 0 to Man City our loss results have actually been we haven't lost in our loss no sorry we've uh, we've drew one won one and lost one so we've done everything while Man United is probably a different story Alright, so Man United's last uh, three results have been a 3-0 win over Brentford, a 1-1 draw to Chelsea, and a 3-1 loss to Arsenal. Um, I'm just going to mention they also lost 4-0 to uh, Liverpool. But yeah, Man United is, hasn't been in great form. Yes, they won against Brentford, but we beat Brentford as well. So um, this could be... I can, see, I can see Brighton doing a shot. I can also see it being a draw. So we're quickly just going to go, this is just going to be a short thing, we're going to do a score prediction. As, as you can probably see, it's not going to be a lot, It's not going to. I'm not going to be predicting a lot. I'm going to actually go, really, this is going to shock everyone. I'm going to 3-1 Brighton. Yes, Brighton are going to beat Man United 3-1. But Man United are shocking at the moment. And this is probably the game they turn it around though in my life. But um, I think we'll win 3-1. I think it'll be goals from Welbeck. Cause he, I think it'll actually be two from Welbeck because he loves a goal against Man United. And I think, who else will score? I think Mark Cucurella. No, I think Moises Caicedo will get his first goal for the club. So yeah, and for them, Ronaldo probably. And all Man United fans in the Brighton end will be filming it like, Ronaldo is the best player in the world. Um, but yeah, I, I think we're going to win this. So we're going to end this with a new series I've done, which is like a head-to-head. -head. So I'm going to do a starting 11, and I'm going to be uh, as unbiased as I can, and I'm going to be putting a Brighton versus Man United, and I'm going to do my combined 11, if that makes sense. I'm going to just go for a 4-3-3, because it's a bog standard formation. Man United play that, so it could favour them. But yeah, we've got the whiteboard again, because why not? Uh, if the budget has been raised, you might as well use it. So in goal, we're going to go for, obviously, De Gea. Like, Bobby Sanchez is good, but De Gea is the best keeper, I think, this season. He, he, he can make a mistake, but so can Bobby Sanchez. Oh, God, that was a bit rude. Sorry, lads. <laughs> so we're going to go for the two centre-backs. and I'm going to go for Duncan. We're going to put Veltman in. But I think Webster's better than both of them. They're Lindelof and Maguire, anyway. So I'm going to put Veltman in just because it's this season. Right back, Wambasaka. I don't rate him at all. So I'm going to put Lamptey in. I, I, this is probably going to turn out you Man United fans are going to be probably thinking I'm really biased here but I honestly think this Luke Shaw or Cucurella see I'd, as a the formation Brighton play I'd rather have Cucurella but maybe if we're going for this formation may, 
Let's give them one. Let's go for Luke Shaw, obviously. So we'll go for a 4 3 3 bracket for if you play FIFA, which is just the one with the cam. Um, but as our first centre mid, he's got to be Basima, lads. It's got to be. Even Man United want Basima. So why, like, why wouldn't you put him in? We'll go for Cam because I know I know straight away who it's going to be. I mean, it's a tough one really because Bruno Fernandez, he's not that he's not all that. But I think McAllister McAllister's good, but I think you've just got to put Fernandez in because Fernandez on his day is a different player. He's really good and he's good at penalties and he could work for Brighton in that way. So Fernandez and the last centre mid. So I'm thinking. I can't put Caicedo in there, even though he's top quality. He's only played like four matches, four or three matches, so I can't put him in. And Wepu, again, he's only played a couple matches um, recently. He's just come, come back from injury, but who do I put there? Who's, you know what, I'm going to put Fred in. I think Fred is hated. I think he's criminally hated by Man United fans, and I don't get it. I think he's really good. I think Fred's a really good player. So at left wing, we're going to go for... See, Rashford in his prime is a really good player, but this season he's not been good. So left, I'm going to put Trossard at left wing. He hasn't been playing that position a lot recently for Brighton, but I think Trossard is good there. And up front, it, it's got to be one man. The best player in the world, some people say. He he loves he loves a goal. He loves all this. So uh, Neil Mopé is going... No, I'm joking. Ronaldo goes up front. No way does no one but Ronaldo go up front. Ronaldo works for it. He's a really, really top-class player. And at right wing, who the heck is Man United's right winger? It's like right me is right wing. Who do they? Oh god, they're. I don't know how. I completely forgot about. It. I even mentioned him. It's it's Jaden Sancho. Realistically, I mean, I think Alanga's a bit unfortunate to miss out on this team because I do like Alanga as a young prospect. But I think um, Sancho's got to go in. De Gea and goal. Luke Shaw. Maybe Cucurella on another day. But uh, I'm not too sure. Lewis Dunk at centre back next to Joel Veltman, and then Lamptey, Basuma, Fred Fernandez, Trossard, Ronaldo, Sancho. So that's one Man United player, uh, two Man United player, three Man United player, four, five, uh, oh, and six. See, I think there's five Brighton players and six Man United players, but on another day, there could be more Brighton players, in my opinion. But yeah, De Gea, Shaw, Dunk, Veltman, Lamptey, Fred, Fernandez, Trossard, Ronaldo, Sancho. So yeah, I think that's a really good lineup. I think I could win them. I think I could finish. I don't know where I could finish in the league. Maybe, maybe mid table. But Ronaldo probably could carry you. That's what Brighton miss. See, Brighton miss a penalty taker. So Fernandez is in. An experienced keeper in De Gea. Sanchez is good. Don't get me wrong, but we need an experienced keeper. So De Gea is good. A goal scorer like Ronaldo. So, I think if you were literally just to put in De Gea, Fernandez, Ronaldo, you could see a massive difference in Brighton. Like, a really. So, yes, guys, that is going to be the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to smash your like, subscribe, and comment. Please tell me what you think about these match previews, if you think I should carry them on, or if I should do something different before a match. I think I like them. I love that head to head idea, by the way. I think that's really good for me. Not to be too cocky, obviously. But yeah, make sure to smash your like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you in the next one, and I'll be out here.